Hello, this is Jim, your product expert with Sump Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video um, for your viewing pleasure, entertainment, and hopefully some information. And we're going to talk today about uh, how to prevent basement flooding. Get a lot of questions on this. There are a lot of searches on the internet about this. Um, what do you do to prevent that kind of flooding? Um, short answer is a good quality sump pump. Um, these sump pumps come in different sizes and shapes and horsepower ranges and flow rates, um, head lift capabilities, so they can pump water vertically from 5 to 15 to 50 feet vertically if you need to. Um, don't always need anything that powerful, but they're there if you need them. Um, and uh, they're going to be installed in a pit like you see down here in the bottom right corner here, usually in your flooring somewhere in your basement. Uh, you may have two or three of these, depending on the size of the house, but uh, they'll have a switch. And as the water level rises in that pit below ground, uh, it'll activate that switch, turn the pump on and start pumping water out through a discharge pipe. Typically goes up to the ceiling in the basement, but not always, but usually does. Take a 90 out, then it'll go out uh, to the backyard or across the driveway, somewhere around from the, away from the foundation. It may tie into a municipal drainage system of some, site, some sort. Um, and that's basically what they do. Um, you know, water tables around the U.S., uh, they vary uh, different seasons, different weather patterns, which has been getting crazier every year, it seems like that. Um, something like this in the basement can uh, prevent uh, big headaches and uh, save you some big dollars. So um, that's the short on it. Um, now, if we look at the next slide here, uh, installations on these pumps can vary, and, and most Newer homes or recently built homes, they usually already have a sump pit in the basement installed and usually a pump installed. Uh, most cases, they'll have a drain tile around the perimeter of the house that basically consists of a about a four inch pipe that goes around the whole perimeter of the house, uh, connected in series um, around that house and then leading to the, the pit in the, uh, in the basement. Uh, that's where your pump's going to be situated and again, all that water. Uh, is going to filter from the outside into that drain tile through holes in the piping and again be directed to that pit um, that'll keep in most cases your your basement dry and safe you want to make sure that pump is working all the time and doing well and uh, check on it once in a while give it some love every once in a while make sure it's clean and uh, nothing floating around in there that shouldn't be that can impede the operation of the pump or the float and um, you know, have a good quality check valve in there at some point to keep the flow of the of the water going out and not coming back into the pit when the pump shuts off, which could potentially cause the pump to keep running over and over. Um, and make sure all the discharge uh, lines are, are clean and, and clear and all that stuff. Uh, and that'll go a long way again in preventing something like this too. Um, but again, basically this is how it works. Um, in, older, in older homes, you may have to actually dig a hole in the ground and get a jackhammer out and, and install a pit, something like this with holes in it that'll allow the groundwater and that water table when it rises to infiltrate the pit and enter the pump and start uh, pumping out through the discharge pipe. Um, so that may require a little bit of work. Just if you need to do that, do some homework. Make sure you're not jackhammering into a floor that's got some piping underground. That wouldn't be a pretty scene. Um, and that'll take care of that. Um, you know, again, pretty, pretty, uh, simple to do if you, um, if you, if you can do it, if you have the knowledge on it, if you don't leave it to the experts, let somebody else do it for you. Uh, but installing a pump like this or having a pump in good working order is going to go a long way, again, in preventing headaches, a lot of, uh, anxiety, a lot of money. Uh, to fix uh, whether you've got a finished basement or not. Um, now, there's other options out there to keep that pump running and keep you notified. There's alarm systems you can get. There's um, uh, backup systems you can get, uh, you know, things like that. I've got other videos that explain and talk a little bit about uh, those options and uh, what more you can do to keep those pumps running and keep your basement dry and safe. I call it all cheap insurance. So, you know, whether you're spending three or four hundred dollars on a pump or a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars on a pump or a backup system it's a lot less than you'd be paying to clean up a mess like that so hopefully that gives you a little idea on what these are for um, how they work and how they go about preventing that flooding in your basement 
Uh, if you have any other questions uh, on anything or ideas for Q&A videos, give me a call, shoot me an email, check out our website, sumppumpsdirect.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, and have a great day. Take care.